Have you seen a movie because it starred a musician? We love musicians on the show. If they weren't existed, we wouldn't have a podcast. Yeah, that's pretty much correct, man. It's pretty simple. So this one here, again, inspired by having Netflix at home, watching, I haven't watched it yet, but Hetfield starred as the, um, what, annoying, some sort of cop, I guess, interrogated that Bundy guy, and apparently Zach Efron reckons he did a good job, so. Yeah. Who knows? Well, we've got a few of our fans who've come out, and they want to tell us exactly what movie they watched because their favorite or a musician was in it in general. So Danny, from the top, who we got? Yeah, so first up, Peter Mitchell. He goes, I've watched movies that have a musician in it that I don't like, so he's done it. Uh, I can't remember what off the top of my head, but I know I have. We also watch any biopic on any musician, wherever I like them or not. Mm. So just in Netflix, there's quite a few as well. Uh, Emma McKee, I reckon Spice World. So there you go. Yeah. You have five musicians there, and I think... Is it like they've probably had a couple of cameos as well? I don't know. At least. Long, long time. Uh, Dean Kenrick reckons Mac Vicker, which starred the lead singer of The Who. Apparently, yeah. it was a, a The Who film, so they actually have their own production company to film. Wow. There you go. Uh, Lee Berrien reckons Ordinary World because it has Billy Joe Armstrong. Hey, there you go. And that makes why sense. else would you watch it? So they've probably asked that Do question. You know, that would be sober Billy Joe or not? Probably not because at the time, it was probably, yeah. Uh, his earnings seriously good. Uh, Jack Dane was money. <laughs> Uh, Alice Sinclair is Eight Mile. So. Oh, good old uh, white guy with the rapping skills. Yeah, yeah vanilla ice. I think. <laughs> uh, Leah Massey reckons The Labyrinth, but then that's an awesome movie, anyways. Also, The Prestige and the Twin Peaks movie, because she apparently is a big David Bowie fan. She is a massive David Bowie fan. I've seen the inside of her toilet. <laughs> it's got, uh, yeah, the toilet door. I think you're trying to say, yeah. All right. And then Pat Ahern agrees. Any film with Bowie in it. Uh, Scott Thiel reckons, yep, since we're way back in the day, New Jack City with Ice-T and Friday with Ice Cube. So you go, they're, Wait, they're different ices, aren't they? Yeah. Right. One's like Ice-T, so it has like... And one's Ice fruit, Cube, yeah. go well together. They Makes for a nice Sunday actually. morning beverage. There you do. Yeah. Arnold Palmer. Uh, Jack Hatchett reckons Jack Black does both well. Ah, so almost anything he's in. So a bit of Jack Almost. Black. Gee, that comes with a caveat, doesn't it? I know he's in something bad. He, um, I saw him in the office the other day where he's acting... Um, and does something really funny in that. He makes up some old chick. But um, yeah, he's done some things. He's done some things. Okay, that's good to hear. Um, Ian Griffiths reckons no. Yeah. That's simple. Uh, Amy Carson, only one I can think of is Purple Rain and a couple other movies starring Prince, oh. as I used to be a mad Prince fan. Ah, oh, cool. There you go. And then Glenn Dunn, last one, which probably wins the day, is uh, Dio, who starred in Pick of Destiny. Yeah, he kind of wins the medal head of the week, especially in Daniel's eyes. Mm. Um, I did watch that movie as well because that Dio. I won't lie. Yeah, is that yeah. why? Oh, damn. Oh, I, movie. Um, it's a good movie, though. It's kind of like just a bit of fun. Uh, it doesn't take itself too seriously. And it's a musical that I can actually enjoy. It's got singing in it. We watched that <sighs> movie. Uh, Rock of Ages. Rock of Ages. And funny enough, they got a whole lineup of uh, actors who couldn't sing. And the ones who could were not rock singers, man. It was it was a, it was a, it was a tough movie for me to watch. But yeah. now I went with my girlfriend and her friends, and they loved it. So, yeah. yeah. So any other movies you can think of you watched? Um, no, I'm looking forward to the James Hetfield one. There's going to be some interesting, um, we don't get too many of metalheads staring in your movies, do we, Danny? No, I know, I mean, Meatloaf's been in a couple. Yeah. He was in Pick of Destiny, and he was in that Blood Rain movie, which was pretty shit. And then you had... Oh, that's right, I've seen that Rocky, um, no, he's not a musician though, never mind. Sorry, keep going. Oh, yeah. And he had Wayne's World, you had, um, Alice Cooper was in Wayne's World. Yep. That was cool. Uh, I feel like there's more... <laughs> Henry Rollins has probably been in one or two things. Yeah, yeah. right. Um, yeah, it's going to be someone else. There's probably tons. I think that's about it. Oh, yeah, okay. it's um, it's, it's pretty tricky. Remember. But then again, there you go. It's uh, it's all part of the fun. I'm sure there is someone out there that wants to go see something else. But yeah, dear, there you go. He wins it for me. Great guy. Yeah. Could act, apparently. Who would have thought that? But there you go. Yeah, he just sang that movie. Yeah, yeah. but he was saying it so well. With that. Yeah, I, was bought, I bought into his character. Mm. Being, a, <laughs> being a post on being a, Being God, you know, and coming to life, you know. So um, there we go. We'll move on. Thank you guys so